All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hill Creek Outdoors got another one for you today. We're going to be getting ready to use the John Deere 1025R. Um, using a loader, doing different things uh, with it. So what are you supposed to do whenever you are getting ready to use equipment? You probably guessed it. You got to check your fluids, uh, make sure all everything's squared away and ready to go so you don't break anything. Greaser up as well. So we're going to be using the John Deere 1025R today uh, to make sure we're getting it ready. Also, another thing I want to tell you about is there's one thing a lot of people forget, especially in the summertime, it's not summer right now, but during the summertime is the filter underneath the hood. Sometimes it gets, gets clogged up and it won't be able to breathe as well, so it's, it's the air filter. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're notified every single time we post a video. And let's get right into it. So here on the left side of the tractor, you're going to have your oil dipstick. I'll pull it out here. We're going to check the oil, make sure it's all right. Fairly easy to get to. And we are good. No issues there. Oil's good. Make sure all your connections are good. There's nothing loose, nothing, no hydraulic leaks. Everything looks good there. Uh, we'll check the fuel or the air filter real quick. So here on the left side of the tractor, you have a little, take your key. I'm sure most of you guys know this if you have a John Deere 1025R. And you'll hit this little button. And it's going to pop your hood. Let me get my fingers in there. Maybe. There we go. This right here is another thing you want to check. Your air filter. Especially during the summertime if you're brush hogging or anything like that. See there, it's got... Quite a bit of gunk in there. We'll take it out here and knock it off. We just knocked it off out there on the side there. And we'll throw it back in. And then you're going to check your uh, fluids here for your antifreeze. We are good on that. No issues. So Check all your hoses, make sure you're not seeing any real bad cracking or anything, any issues with hydraulic. We'll do both sides. We'll start the tractor up and reevaluate it as well, making sure there's no loss in pressure or anything like that. Everything looks good there. Let's go try, check the hydraulic fluid in the back. You're supposed to check it cold, so we're going to do that before we start her. All right, when you check your hydraulic fluid, it's going to be right here on the Gen John Deere 1025R. Once again, you got to check it cold. You want to make sure your three points down and all the pressure is out of the front loader as well. And we are good. We'll check it one more time just to verify. Good to go. So now that we checked all the main stuff um, on the tractor before we start it, um, we're going to go ahead, it's all good, we're going to go ahead and start it up. The tractor hasn't been started for probably, I don't know, probably two and a half weeks, three weeks. We've just been busy doing other things, and three weeks since it's been started, um, it is probably about 38 degrees, 40 degrees outside today. So this is a cold start. Two and a half weeks probably of cold start before it's been started, so you always want to turn it, let those glow plugs do their thing. There's a little indicator on the front of the on the tractor instrument cluster that will go off. I usually do it two or three times. You probably only need to do it once, but I just do it two or three times. I'm going to do it three times this time, and then we'll go ahead and start it up. We'll back it out, and then we will grease up the front loader and check some other things. Man, started like a, a charm. This is a 2017 with about, it's got 559.7 hours on it. Started up real nice. We'll let her warm up a second. We'll 
Pull it out. All right, so let's go ahead and grease it up. I use a lube shuttle. Um, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. I highly recommend if you don't have a lube shuttle grease gun that you look at getting one because there's no mess. I mean, this thing, you can switch your grease out for whatever you want. We have an entire video on the Lube Shuttle Grease Gun, so if you want some more information on it, check that out. This, our videos are not sponsored by Lube Shuttle, it's just the um, grease gun that we truly enjoy using for our application. You just push this up a little bit, screw it on, and you'll be ready to rumble in the jungle. You can, you can go ahead and do it just like this. Or they have a protective sleeve. I'll throw it on just for today. A lot of times I don't even put it on. Protects it. And let's go to town. Doesn't need very much. Just a little bit to grease it up. Maybe one or two squirts. Very imperative though. That you grease up your machine. Because if you don't, you're going to run into all kinds of issues and you're going to have to replace stuff. Ain't no sense in doing all that when all it takes is just a quick little dab of grease. But I tell you what, this John Deere 1025R, it has been a absolute beast. Um, I, pro I use it well over what it, it's actually intended to do. But I will tell you, it has been a great machine for us here at the property. Hauling out logs. We use it to mow. Um, we have an entire playlist on the John Deere 1025R and how we utilize it. So I highly recommend you uh, check those out. This thing, we mow with it. Do all kind of loader work, haul dirt, gravel, box blade to driveway, brush hog. Uh, we got to get you guys some videos on the brush hog. We bought one, and we just have kind of failed, unfortunately, to get some good videos for brush hogging. So we're going to have to get some this spring and summer for you guys. Um, hey, let's move back on here. Make sure you're checking all your hydraulics after you have... Got the pressure up and the machine on. Um, I had I see no issues. So last thing we're gonna do is check our tire pressures and we're ready to roll. So I'm gonna do that. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed something and learned something on this. Hopefully it's something of value, but I know it was a short one, but we just wanted to touch base with you and get this information to you. So until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see you.